Hi, I'm Anne Marie from SoapQueen.com and Brambleberry.com. Thanks so much for joining me on today's episode of Soap Queen TV. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a special technique that I designed for Martha Stewart Sirius Radio last year. They loved the soap so much that I wanted to show you how you can make these cute and adorable easy soaps at home. We're going to use unmounted rubber stamps. I love to use these because you can get them in lots of different shapes and sizes for every single holiday and they're easy to find at a craft store or any sort of rubber stamping store. To make our first layer, we're going to melt 3 to 4 ounces of clear melt and pour soap in the microwave. Now that it's melted, it's time to get our perfect hot pink color. A little bit of red blue mica, a little bit of merlot mica mixed together makes the most ideal color. To get rid of those mica bubbles, all you need is a spritz of alcohol. Rubbing alcohol breaks the surface tension of the mica bubbles, allowing you to mix it in easily. Now that it's the perfect color, it's time to put our rubber stamps in the bottom of the soap mold. Carefully peel the unmounted rubber stamp off of its backing. Now look at it. Which side is the flat side? Which side is the raised side? The flat side goes down into the mold. So the raised side is facing you. Place it carefully into the bottom of the mold, pushing down with your finger to make sure all the details are in the mold. Our lovely stylized snowflake. Whoops, I just put that in upside down. Okay, let's peel that out, put it right way. Okay. Now look at everything. Does it look all straight and even to you? Okay, we're ready to pour our first layer. This layer needs to be extremely thin. In order to do such precision work, I like to use the injector that comes with the PJ's toolkit, or you can use a plain basic dropper, but be sure you don't over pour. You'll see what I mean. Spritz the bottom of the mold with rubbing alcohol. This helps the soap to evenly go on the entire bottom of the mold. Draw up some soap of your injector. Go all the way around the stamp. You don't want the pink color to go over the stamp. Just around it. Do a careful spritz of rubbing alcohol and you're done. Now that you're done using your injector, use some very, very hot water to clean out the injector. Wait for this first layer to harden. It takes anywhere from three to five minutes. It's such a small layer, you don't need to put it in the fridge. The second layer is the focus of our soap. This is the one that really makes the stamp shine. Melt three to four ounces of white soap in the microwave. Check the temperature. It can't be too hot. Remember, anything above 130 will probably melt that first layer. Now that our temperature is ideal, it's time to pour that second layer. The second layer just goes around the stamp and leaves the very tippy top of the stamp uncovered. The very tippy top is the part that would actually stamp a paper if you were using this as a rubber stamp. Spritz with rubbing alcohol to finish this off. Wait for the second layer to harden. Again, three to four minutes. It doesn't take long. While the second layer is hardening, go ahead and prepare that third layer. This is the one we're going to do in green. Melt 12 to 16 ounces of clear soap in the microwave. This is the layer we get to fragrance. Yippee! And we get to color this as well. Add your fragrance. For this, I'm doing about six milliliters of cranberry fig. I love cranberry fig. It doesn't turn the soap yellow, so you can get a really crisp, clean color. And now it's time for the green. This is Brambleberry's liquid non-bleeding green. You'll notice it's an ideal color for Christmas. Now that you've prepared the green soap, just set it aside. We're gonna use that in a second after we've cleaned up our white layer. To clean up our first layer, I'm gonna use the scraper pick that comes in the PJ's toolkit. If you don't have one, it's okay. You can probably make do with a butter knife. Take the flat end of the tool, scrape away until you can see the stamp. Make sure you don't scrape all the way down to the first layer. You just wanna scrape that white away. Oh, and now we can see Merry Christmas. The stocking looks pretty good, but there's a little bit of detail work that still needs to be done. So we can flip our tool over and get to the pick side and watch this. Weep, just going around it. 
until there's a clearly delineated line. This is important for the third layer to really show through. Now that you have the second layer hardened and you've cleaned it up so that the stamps are easily visible, it's time to pour that third layer. Make sure the soap is at 130 or less. If it's steaming or if it hurts your hand on the outside of the container, it's too warm. Burning soap equals melting second and first layers and you don't want to ruin all the hard work you've done. Spritz that second layer. Pour the green soap evenly. Spritz to finish off. Make sure you get rid of all the bubbles and move on to the next one. Now, you'll notice I haven't done any green in my present. And that's because I wanted to show you how easy it is to make this look very stunning without doing three layers. Say you're doing this with your child and they're too impatient for three layers. It's okay, you can make this look super cool with just two. Check it out. Remember this leftover white soap from the second layer? Now we get to use it. Go ahead and melt this in the microwave for probably about 15 seconds. There's not much left, so 30 seconds will make it boil. Since we didn't fragrance this white soap to start with, it's time to fragrance it now. Add just a milliliter or so of the cranberry fig fragrance. It smells so good. Now, spritz the present soap with alcohol. We want those layers to adhere. Make sure the white soap is not above 130 degrees. Pour it slowly and evenly into the mold. Set this all aside for three to five hours until it's time to come and pop it out. Finally, the wait is over and now it's time to unmold our soap. Pull gently away from the sides of the soap mold. Push down firmly with your finger. Okay, and boom, out comes the present. Okay, let's do the next one. That season's greetings looks incredible. Now that all four soaps are out of the mold, it's time to get that stamp out of your soap. After all, you're not gonna give it away or sell it with the stamp in it. You wanna use it over and over again. That's the beauty of this project. Take the pick that comes in the PJ's toolkit and gently peel away at the sides of that stamp until you can get a finger hold on it. Slowly peel it back. There's no rush here. Do you see there's a few edges that need to be cleaned up? You can either use the pick to try and get them or just smooth them out with your finger. Pulling this one out, this one's a little trickier. Notice there's a little bit more smoothing work to do. Star pops out easy. Wow, that green really comes through great on the star. Merry Christmas pops out easy. I love that the details really show up where we use the pick to scrape away at that second white layer. Notice how good this present looks. It's only two layers. It didn't take as long as the other ones and it still looks fantastic. Thank you so much for joining me on this episode of Soap Queen TV. I hope you learned a lot and I hope you can see the possibilities are endless with this project. There are so many stamps, so many occasions, and so many color schemes you can use. It's kid friendly and the soaps look great. Until next time, happy soaping. Do we have anything funny for outros though? I did that one pretty okay. Yeah, you did, unfortunately. <laughs> you weren't funny at all.